Hi friends, today I am at TG's garden. TG has a YouTube channel called It Is Just Gardening and he lives like six miles away from me. We became friends this spring and he was kind enough to tell me that, that his pomegranates are ripening and in the spring he offered to let me taste them. So he was kind enough to invite me over and I will be tasting the hardy pomegranate. Did I just say pomegranates in Virginia? That's correct. My man here is growing pomegranates and in the spring he gave me a tree that he separated and I have one of these planted at my house. I also have a cutting from another gentleman that it's his name is Jimmy Virginia and I'll link to both of the, their channels below. Jimmy gave me some cuttings for his pomegranate tree that he's had for 14 plus years he said and I just checked and two of those cuttings are actually growing so next year I'll be putting it into the ground and growing out these beautiful pomegranates. Is this a sight to see? Pomegranates growing? Can you believe this? I am just impressed by the amount of pomegranates that he has. And he moved these this spring. He had them growing by his house and he moved them over here uh, just a little outside into the into the yard a little bit better and they produced this year even though they were disturbed so i'm very confident and i'm hopeful that next year my tree will produce some pomegranates too all right dude let's try some of these pomegranates all right i'm excited in that one that is cracked i mean this is a matter so like you can pick it off are the ones oh. that are cracked more well, ripe or try not? like the biggest one all right let's try the biggest one since I mean, you want to go try both it. so like so this one let's see we got pickings here we can do we got options. This one is like about three inch. This one is what? Three inches? Yeah, three one, three point one oh, inches. Dude, and you, uh, you're getting scientific with it now. Well, I'm trying to measure it, <laughs> make sure how big my. So these thing is pretty small because like this year I kind of relocated them. I split them up, yeah. and there's a video about that. I split them up, and um, surprisingly they fruit. So. And yeah, that's what I, I, I did an intro, and I was talking about how you move them around, and they're still producing. Yeah. How big were they last year? They, so the average size using this size three inches and then two and a half. But like last year, we have pretty big, like almost four inches. Wow. So I gave one to my neighbor down there. His is like actually like almost four inches. It's like three point six. He grew it out this year and he got four inches. No, no, I gave him one of the split. Right, I right. Actually, gave one the good part. <laughs> so I <laughs> so actually gave him the the good split of mine, and then like we can go over there later and measure how big it is. Okay, but, uh, great. But yeah, we can let's try the big one. So we'll let the guests of honor, you know, pick it up. You know. So how do you do it? You just twist it. Twist it. Yeah. Okay. There you wow, go. Wow, it's so easy. Look at this thing. This is amazing. I, I never knew. I mean, I think last year I found out you can grow pomegranates, mm -hmm. and last year I found his channel, and I found out that he was growing them. So that's so cool. It's 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 insane how, how it, how he's growing these. Uh, and the other gentleman that we know, Jimmy, yeah. Virginia, he has a tree and I think it's 14 years old? No, it's not more like uh, 20 years. 20 years. Yeah. So did yeah. he have it in a pot before? Because he said he, he's lived at his house for like 12 years, something like that. Um, well, it's, it's in a pot and then he said he planted it out and then it yeah. died. And he has a humongous, humongous, giant, giant so, tree yeah. that produces a lot. Yeah, and his <laughs> fruit is like average size, is like almost four inches. I was there and like and I didn't bring my measure with Yeah. So, so he these cool. are big and I have two cuttings from him that are actually uh, that are actually that have taken and I will be putting those into the ground next spring and hopefully I get four inch pomegranates, maybe in ten years. <laughs> Alright, so how do we crack this open? I wanna show you the color of this fruit. It's blushy red and you can see over here how the flower formed in the spring. I am so excited about this fruit. You have no idea. <laughs> hey, TG is gonna show us how to do the professional cutting of the pomegranate. So basically what you do is that you're gonna slip off the top up here or any of the bottom the top. You start at the, at the end where it was touching the branch. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna move before any accident. And I like that, right? So the way Pomegranate work in the compartment uh, section. So usually you I would cut it more and that. So you do a slit on the side. So you do like four cuts, something like that? Yeah. Maybe five? Yeah, you're going for five, yeah. And then after that you Oh it looks great man. 
kind of slip it and then pop this open right there and you get that and then you just kind of pop it open okay okay so tg did the honors of cutting it like this and you can start seeing the kernels in here and we're going to crack it open here you guys can be my witness at the same time oh <laughs> this looks so wonderful it is not palm wonderful it is virginia wonderful <laughs> check this out these are beautiful kernels man wow so how do you just pop them and eat them yeah so here i go here i go yeah. yo that I'm tastes good. so much better than any pomegranate i ever bought at the store okay so i grew up in el salvador and we do have pomegranates in El Salvador. Ah. And they are pretty good, just like this one. So but yeah. but this is this is ridiculous. This is this is my dream right here. My dream is one day to walk into my yard and harvest some of these beautiful ruby red pomegranates, man. Wow. Wow. So I was just talking to you about the taste. Some people online say that the taste of Salavaski is not very good. I, I don't understand why they're saying that this these right here this is the best pomegranate i have ever had in the united states hands down oh man i'm wasting some these are worth gold better save a seed man that's what i was thinking so like have you started some from seed um not yet but uh, right. yeah it's gonna come up on its own in the back hunt. but it's probably better to start it from from a cutting yeah because yeah. if you do from seed it will take minimum five years to uh, produce a to fruit produce a fruit yeah yeah and i am time, lucky i have some of these trees growing in my yard right now yeah. so if i'm cutting it will take like like i said like if you watch the video once you put it in it can flower and then you can hand pollinate you can get one right away so how do you hand pollinate do you take pollen from one flower to the other yeah yeah so usually there's two type of flower one is like the the mm. peanut shape mm -hmm. that is the the fertile one the producing fruit mm -hmm. flower and then there's another one that's like a, a bell cone shape so really small and then that's like ornamental the pollinator in here then you just get a brush or use your finger then to drop it i'll brush. show you guys one of the little trees he's got a tiny little tree it's maybe 20 inches tall and it has a pomegranate yeah so next year i'll be hand pollinating and you know I'll have a video about hand pollinating your pomegranates. <laughs> uh, we live in Fairfax County. Uh, you sell some of these trees? Yeah. Yeah. So I do sell some of the cutting. Um, I, they are germinating right now and um, eventually I'll post them up on Facebook on an Etsy shop as well. I'm jealous. I want it, I want it back. So, crap too. You gotta, come here. so we are at the neighbor's yard and you gave this neighbor this tree, right? Yeah, in the spring. Year. It's not that big, right? No, I mean, it's maybe 10 foot tall and uh, it's cracking. So he's saying, he's got to tell the neighbor to harvest it. Yeah. We're measuring now. What does it say? It is 3.75. 3.75 so, inches, almost four inches wide. So that's it, almost like a pump wonderful, man. Yeah. So if you compare it, it's probably the same. To but what? To a uh, Palm Wonderful? Yeah, Palm Wonderful. Or Sweetheart. The Sweetheart at, at Costco is the same size. Or actually this size. But they don't get as red as the ones you see yeah. at the store, right? Like, yeah. I don't think yeah. they ever get that much red. So this is the, the ripened color. It's like a light pink. And then you still see greenish on it. And you start harvesting when you see the cracking. Yeah, like some small cracking. And a this, small cracking yeah. and then you want to harvest. But, uh, so these two are probably ripe. Yeah, this is ready to go. And there, he's got one more over yeah. there. This out. He also has a very little blossom, but it's kind of too late in the season, obviously. This is not going to have enough time to ripen. But he did get a couple. Did he get more than this and he's already harvested? No, or is this, this the three? This is only three he got. So he got three. I mean, I would be happy with just a pomegranate this size in my yard. <laughs> Check out this one though. <laughs> oh man, this is wonderful. Okay, so TG is letting me try another fruit over here. This is a Lee Jujube. He has a beautiful jujube tree and it's called the Chinese date, uh, but they're really not related to dates. So let's try this Lee Jujube. 
It's crunchy. So it almost tastes like honey. Yeah. So good. This is the experiment with the air layering. He's trying to produce one. It's really t hard to take cuttings from these trees, from what I hear. Yep, so here, <laughs> Elias gonna try to pick up the show wood right here. Yo, this is, this reminds me of being back in El Salvador, picking fruit. <laughs> here we go. See? I got it. Nice catch. <laughs> <laughs> it's so ripe, it's uh, cracking. This is my first time trying jujubes. I bought some at the grocery store, but this is my first time trying them from a tree. And I gotta tell you, these are delicious. Uh, it's Americans don't really know about jujubes. It's really the Asian community has been keeping this one tight lip. <laughs> yeah, the, the store bought a lot of time they like American, right? They buy, they pick it early. So like sometimes a lot of the sugar content is not there. All right, this one's like caramel. Yeah, it's got a little like bit a slimy as well. It's got like a little caramel flavor. Mm. How am I gonna keep this straight? Okay, I'm putting in my left pocket is the Lee <laughs> and on my right pocket will be the Sherwood. <laughs> and his back pocket will be the Lang. <laughs> you gotta keep track of which seed you have. For harvest well? Yeah, just take all of it because I'm not gonna harvest it. Okay. Ooh, got one. Hey, this is so easy to harvest, man. Man, this guy is a really good catch. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's like professional baseball catcher or something. <laughs> yeah, the lang shape like a pear. So. The lang is shaped like a pear. And these guys, these trees, they cost 150 bucks. So I was going to buy one this spring and I was like, no, 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 I can't buy those because I've never tried them before. So now I'm getting to taste them and trying to figure out if I really want to buy them. My man here says he's got a few uh, graphs that are working. <laughs> There's another video coming soon. <laughs> another video Eventually coming soon. Next year. <laughs> okay, so let's try the Lang. I think this is what I bought at the grocery store. The Lang. Maybe. I haven't seen the Lang in the grocery store. So you eat them fresh, right? Like you don't yeah. let them, like, people say you should eat them when they shrivel up. Mm, no. Yeah. You have to do it right or else it's going to be bad. You have to pick it up the tree like this and then let it dry. Uh, you can put it in your dehydrator. You can oh, you dehydrate. And dehydrate it and then test it. And it tastes sweet? And it was like be, a date. Yeah, it would taste sweet so and chewy. Like a traditionally, date. how do you eat these? Just fresh? Or do you guys make food with it or what? So the Chinese people, they dehydrate it and then they put it in the cooking, like soup. Okay. If you go to hot pot, a lot of the time you see like this tiny apple in there, that's the jujube. Okay, so if you go to hot pot, that's, yeah. what, yeah, that's what you're getting. So We gotta say, uh, TG here is from Vietnam. Yeah. <laughs> and this thing is Chinese, so. Yeah, and this <laughs> is Chinese, so let's not get it mixed up, okay? This is a Chinese day, but uh, we do have uh, a variety of this too, but it's like a Thai variety. Well, thank you TG for my uh, delicious fruit, man. These are delicious and I've really enjoyed these uh, delicious fruit. Let's go back to the pomegranates and close out the video. Yeah, I have the own phone. Well, man, I feel very, very lucky to have you as a friend. Same here. So thank you so much for letting me try your fruits. Yeah. Uh, this has been wonderful. And uh, hopefully one of these days you let me take a tour of your, your, hot, your yard. Wow, come <laughs> back next year. So yeah. it's gonna be a lot of project that I'm planning to do. Um, so to make them more organized and nicely looking like garden forage over here. <laughs> no, you definitely have, you have a lot more fruits than I do. If you are interested in growing fruits in Northern Virginia, this guy is your guide. He has been guiding me on my fruit trees uh, because I am a gardener at heart. I started growing vegetables and just two years ago when I bought the house, I got into the trees. And he's been doing this for how long now? Um, ever since I moved in the house, was like seven years now. So seven years, yeah. and so some of your trees are seven years old. Yeah, so that's why yeah. like all this pomegranate, the jujube is like seven years old because those are the actually two variety that I want, I grow first because I want something tropical. Yeah, so. yeah. We are always trying to get back to our roots, the tropical fruits. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, my man. I appreciate right, man. you. No problem. Uh, make sure to hit the like and subscribe, guy. We'll make see sure, you guys next time. Make sure you like and subscribe and go check out his YouTube channel, please. Yeah. It's linked in the description below. All right.